Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because it is the first time I have a guest in my new studio. She is the mother and mother-in-law of our dear friends. Her name is Jeannie and she is in the mature beauty skin category. She will tell you in a moment exactly her age, but she came to me and said, I have a list of several things I would like you to address. So those things include under eye darkness, under eye wrinkles, discolorations on the skin, a little chin fluff, help with bleeding lip liner and lipstick. But then she also said, whatever look you create, I want it to be easy enough that I could literally almost do it as I'm running out the door. So I put my thinking cap on and pulled together a grouping of products, a minimal number of products that are multitasking, but are also super easy to apply that you can use your fingers or maybe a beauty sponge, but minimal number of tools, minimal number of products to pull together her daytime look. Now she was also curious if there were any skincare recommendations that I would have for her of some products to really help with her super dry skin. So I'm going to include the skincare prep steps in this video so you can see what I do to prep her skin to get it ready for makeup. So now with all of that being said, if you are new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button and now let's get started and meet Jeannie. All right, so this is Jeannie and so we have just cleansed her face. She is bare faced. Yes, she's beautiful. She doesn't even need makeup. So our goal for today, Jeannie is a busy grandma. She has how many grandchildren? 10 grandchildren. Oh my goodness. So we are going to give her a couple of different options. We're going to give her a very um, easy. She says, I need makeup that I can apply running out the door. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're also going to do a little bit of skincare with her because she's also kept that pretty, pretty easy, does it? So we're just going to give her a couple of extra steps and I think it will help kind of just continue to keep moisture in the areas of concern, right? As we get of older. Concern, of concern. Right. <laughs> I've, gave her, I've given her quite an assignment. <laughs> And she's take, like, what do you think? Take away the crows yeah, and the gonna... bags and the chin. <laughs> I'm 75. 75. She doesn't look it, does she? You yeah. look beautiful. So we're Thanks. just going to enhance your natural beauty. So uh, we've cleansed her skin. So now I'm just going to spritz on a little bit of the Everyday Coconut Alafia Toner. So you can close your eyes and I'll hold your hair. And this helps tone the skin. It adds just a hint of moisture so that your skin is kind of ready for the next steps that we do. Everybody needs that coconut toner. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try just a little bit of the Embryolise. This is the um, concentrated cream. It's really, really hydrating. So hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of this. So she said her skin is kind of like a sponge, a dry sponge. It just absorbs moisture almost immediately. So um, we've still got a little bit of glow, but I can tell, I mean, your skin, that, that was not excessively um, moisturizing, but your skin looks, looks more glowy. So now we're going to go in with one more step. And I told her sunscreen, something we all talk about. And so I'm going to introduce her to one of my favorites, which is the Elta MD UV Elements. This is broad spectrum um, SPF 44, Ooh. water resistant, has hyaluronic acid. So this is gonna help kind of soften the look of lines. And as we were talking about, she's in the sun a lot with grandkids. So um, it's important if you're using sunscreen, it'll help kind of keep dark spots at bay as well. So is that a foundation? No, oh. this is just tinted. So mm. this is a mineral-based sunscreen. So if you've ever used a mineral sunscreen and ended up with a white cast, that is why they started adding in a little bit of a tint. This is still going to kind of make your skin look a little lighter because you've got a lot of color, but the tint helps take down the white cast mm -hmm. from that zinc. So it's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. The zinc is usually what really makes it look kind of white on the skin. Well, you're bringing back memories having grown up in Newport Beach. I always had yes, a, white, a, white a white nose. 
<laughs> exactly. That's exactly what this is. They're just making it fancier now. <laughs> Obviously, if this is her at home, she's just going to rub all of this in with her hands. But oh, I'm going to make it easier. It's easier when you're working on somebody else to kind of blend in. So this is just a beauty sponge that you can get off Amazon. Now, what I like about this sunscreen too is it's not greasy so it doesn't you know and it it feels pretty lightweight yeah, too okay so even over the top of the moisture mm -hmm. so good all right the last thing we are going to do though is a little bit of eye cream so this is the 100 percent pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream caffeine. so caffeine, like caffeine. yes caffeine. Drink coffee, so i'll just use it, a it actually <laughs> smells like coffee can you smell it yeah it's like almost like a latte because it has a little bit of sweetness to it latte. <laughs> so we're going to put this under your eyes. So go ahead and look up for me. And the caffeine helps reduce puffiness hmm. and helps a little bit reduce the darkness as well. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit extra here on these little lines out here. They're character lines. That, that's what we call them. Character lines. Yes. Okay. <laughs> work. Wisdom spots, character oh. lines. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley is the best. I pay, I pay everybody to out. say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I pay everybody who comes in here to say yeah. nice things. <laughs> so what we'll do, we're going to start with the face and we'll get everything kind of evened out. So I'm going to introduce her to a stick foundation. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue uh, Foundation. And this is way too moisturizing for me but it's really nice for those with dry skin. Mm. This also has SPF 25, oh, so it's hydrating, really it has extra sunscreen in it, and it is in a stick form. So what's really cool about this is you literally can just swipe it onto your face and then we'll blend it in. It, seems like I'm putting a lot on, but I haven't even, you know, used what I've kind of put up. So I like that it, it goes on, it allows you to kind of spread out what you think you're going to need. And mm. then we're going to go in with either a brush or a sponge. We'll try the sponge since we've got this out, but she, um, which do you prefer? Two. Is it just personal preference? The brush is going to give you more coverage. Mm -hmm. The sponge is going to be a little lighter coverage. Because it gets off on the sponge? Yeah, it's damp. So you dampen the sponge so it will remove the excess. But what's good about a sponge, if you feel like you end up with kind of cakiness in lines or anything like that, a sponge is, you can kind of press it into the skin hmm. and it can kind of make it look a little lighter weight over those areas of lines and okay. So next up is we're going to introduce her to a stick contour slash bronzer. So she was talking about, she's like, I want this, this neck fluff to go away. What am I do? <laughs> So we're just going to add a little bit. I think we're going to go in with this. So this is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Mocha. So I think this is what we're going to use. And I think we can use this for a little bit of contouring. You really don't need much bronzing. So we're just going to shape the face just a little bit. But we're going to do it with a stick. Now, if this were yours, you would just swipe it on your cheeks. I'm going to put a little bit, you know, keep things sanitary. <laughs> put it on my little palette here. Um, we're just going to add a tiny little bit of contour here. So, yeah, I think this is, it's a pretty, let's see, look this way. It's a pretty neutral, neutral tan color. It's only about a shade, maybe a shade and a half darker than your natural skin tone. Mm. So it's not too dark. And so therefore it's going to make it easy to blend out and you don't have to worry about going around with all these stripes on your face. But I'm just going to stripe it on and then we'll have you look. I mean, she's already got beautiful cheekbones anyway. So this is just going to further enhance that. But this is also what we're going to use just to create a little bit of shadow. I know all of us ladies, we're all insecure about this area mm -hmm. right under our neck. So what we're going to do is I'm going to follow 
kind of just below your jawline and we're going to put some of this right under here and then we'll blend it under and it's going to create just a hint of a shadow and again we're not using anything super dark um, and so you, you're not going to walk outside and think ah I've got a beard oh <laughs> I don't want a beard at all so we're going to go under the chin and you can use kind of the other side of the sponge and just work it right into the skin hmm. and let's see and look this way and so it's given a little bit of a shadow right there hopefully you can see that but it's worked in because we're using your foundation sponge or your oh, brush yeah. that you used for your foundation it's going to help everything blend real easily and seamlessly. Now we just have kind of just that little bit of a chiseled chiseled chin, but it's not too strong. And then the side, so turn this way. And so we have just this little bit of extra depth here in the cheekbones. Now Jeannie, she really doesn't have a large forehead or anything. So for the most part, you're, you're really not even gonna need to contour your forehead. I mean, you know, most people, you can add just a little bit of color if you want up here, um, but you really don't need to because you don't have a large forehead. So contour is just, we're using that to... Is contour to kind of bring in? Yes, so things? to make things recede. Mm -hmm. So if there's any areas that you want to recede, um, that's where you're going to place your contour and this color on you could also kind of be a bronzer. So you could kind of do a little bit of bronzing, but it's cool enough that we can use it as a contour for you. So, okay. Now for blush, we have the same concept. We've got stick blushes. All right. Oh. And these actually come with their own built-in brush on the bottom of it. Oh, for goodness sake. And the brush removes so you can clean it. Oh. So this is the ultimate in a hurry kind of product. It's lips, cheeks, and eyes. It's an all over kind of face thing. So we can actually put a little bit of this in your eyes as well. If you're really in a hurry and out the door, this is something you can throw in your purse do on the go. And this is cherry blossom, which I think, yeah, knowing kind of the colors we're going to use on your lips. I think we're going to start here. So you're saying that could be used as a blush, as a blush, as a lip, lip and thing. as an eyeshadow. Oh my yes. goodness. So it's multi-purpose three and one, so three and one. Yes. So we'll kind of do a little bit of that today oh. for your little bit of an eyeshadow. Cream blushes. A lot of times people are a little afraid of, because they can go on pretty strong and you're like, mm. ah, but this is a very forgiving formula. And if you just put a little bit on and then either use the brush on the other end or your little magic sponge, this is the way to always kind of counteract what's going on there because you've got that foundation mm -hmm. on the sponge already. Oh yeah. So it's going to just really help everything. So when you're in a rush, you know, or you're traveling, Jeannie likes to travel. She is a world, literally a world traveled woman. <laughs> this is something you could do without, you know, having to worry about um, lighting and everything mm -hmm. being proper. Um, this one's pretty, pretty forgiving. Especially if you've got a little sponge on the go. Well, it's nice that it's so compact. I mean, you have this bright. Right, right. When you're traveling and mm -hmm. you know, throw you three sticks in your bag, <laughs> three sticks and mascara. That pretty much your foundation, your contour, and your blush slash, mm -hmm. you know, lip color slash eye nice color. It's nice to think about it not being liquid. Right. right? Because then you could carry it on right. and you wouldn't right. have to fit it in your tiny little bag. Right. <laughs> right. So yeah, all kinds of, of little perks here to what the products that we're using for Jeannie today. All right. I am going to give her a little bit of eyeshadow primer. She's used to applying a little bit of one. This is just the Milani eyeshadow primer and close. Jeannie has a like the perfect eye shape here because 
She doesn't have the hooded eyes, the dreaded hooded eyes that we all have. So well, I mean, they do fall down. Yeah, but you can still you still have a good amount of lid space though that shows, which is really good. Yeah. Especially when it goes. Especially like that. <laughs> when you look surprised. No. Okay. All right. So under the eyes. Now this is the other part that she said. I've got darkness. What am I gonna do? Now, I've been testing out this new Fenty Beauty. Um, I have a corrector shade. So this is peach. So we're gonna do a little bit of correcting by doing this little added step. It's going to correct the darkness so then you don't have to use as much concealer which creases and all of that. So um, I'm just going to place this only where she has kind of the darkest parts. Um, so usually for most of us, that's in the inner corner and then kind of down into the crevice here. So you don't want to get crazy with color corrector. You don't want to blend this, you know, way down mm -hmm. swooping on your cheekbones. You just want to apply it in the areas of the darkness. So you can tell it's peach, but you look brighter because we took away kind of the darkness. She's been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So we're gonna just try something new. So this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So this has been around for a long time, very popular. So we're just gonna test this out on her and just see what she thinks. So I'm gonna mix probably custard, medium one, maybe with a little bit of caramel, medium dark too. A little bit of this. Does it feel Very, uh, dry or does no. it feel moisturized? Okay, yeah, so it feels stressed. really good. Yeah. Okay, she's like, Very does flexible. it feel crustily or anything? Nope. Okay, good. I'm like, I don't want you to end up I feeling can smile dry. and they don't even feel it. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> so as we mentioned, our blush can also be used on the eyes and you can also sometimes take a little bit of your contour shade too through the contour of your eye and it's just a really nice, just natural little shading. But you've got, since you have such a great natural shape to your eyes already, you really don't need a whole lot of help of defining kind of your crease. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna add just a tiny little touch of that contour shade and a little bit of the blush shade. And you could literally like tap this in with your fingers. Mm -hmm. and. We're gonna go light because it's mm -hmm. pink and you know a lot of people kind of freak out with oh, pink eyeshadow but you'll see that it kind of blends really nicely into like with our cheek color we just take a tiny little bit it's gonna pull the whole look together make it look really nice and soft and natural Okay, so we are going to do some brows here. Okay. Now, Jeannie, again, is blessed with lots of brow hair. So you really don't need, on a daily basis, you probably could get away with nothing. All I'm going to do is just add a little bit here mm -hmm. on this tail and maybe just fill in here mm -hmm. and on this side. So, but otherwise, you have a really good natural brow. So um, I'm going to use the NYX micro brow pencil in ash brown so um, inexpensive and i think this will work kind of with your white kind of gray hair i think this is a nice cool color uh, we're just going to go in with a few little strokes here so you don't want to go in and draw a solid oh, line okay you don't want to do yeah. that and that makes it easier because you're not having to worry about you know getting this straight yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> We're not going to do that. We're just going to add a tiny little bit. Brows are such a big thing these days. They I mean, are. Oh. They are. Um, now let's add a little bit of mascara. This is the travel size. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension. So this is very lengthening and a little bit of volume, but it's more length. All right, so we're gonna finish up with lips. What Jeannie struggled with 
I even struggle with is lipstick bleeding past the lip line, right? Mm -hmm. This is from MAC and you don't have to do this stuff, but this is the extra insurance to help keep your lipstick or lip liner from bleeding. So this is actually meant to be used on the eyes. You can use this as an eyeshadow base, an eyeshadow primer, but I started using it around the edge of my lips and it helps lock in anything. So it's like it creates this barrier around your edge hmm. of your lips. Hmm. It comes in a lot of different skin tone colors. This one, I think this will work for you. I, I usually use soft ochre, but I'm not gonna use mine on you, so. <laughs> A little lighter than yeah, I'm a little lighter and I'm yellow. So this one has more pink tones. This is painterly. And this will probably still be a little light on you, but I think it will still work um, for this. So we're just going to go right around the edge of the lips right here. Now, Jeannie has a real good lip line. So you really, I use it to kind of help correct my lip line as well. But you really don't need to, but... I'm gonna, yeah, this is a little light on you, but that's okay. Tap it on, and then you wanna let it sit for a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my new favorite Smashbox Be Legendary Lip Liner. It's Line and Prime, so you can actually fill in your whole lip with this. I've done that before, especially if you're wearing a mask, and it stays put. It is going to transfer a little bit, but you're going to have liner there all day. Mm. So whether you just line or fill in your lips, and I'm going to use the shade Deep Mauve on her. So that's the color I'm wearing right now. I love it. Love it. Yeah. She's like, I like that lip color. So for lipstick, this is Buxom Full Force Lipstick. Now this, um, Buxom is known as lip plumping. So it has kind of a little bit of that cooling, tingling sensation on your lips. So it makes them fuller. It's supposed to help lines kind of dissipate a little bit. Um, this particular shade is Dolly Dreamer and oh, it's beautiful. really beautiful. I love it. So this is a good color for you. It's, you do really good with these berry shades. Oh, I love berry shades. Um, there are a lot of facial mists out there. So as a dry skin girl, you could throw one of these in your car. Um, Milani makes one, Essence, just about every brand now has some kind of facial mist. I'm going to spray this directly on, but I'm going to cover your eyes. So this one I love because the mist is so fine. You don't end up with droplets. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes even with the coconut toner, you can mm -hmm. have little bits of droplets on there. Um, oh, I feel like I'm in a spa. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> She's like, oh no. Oh wow. Let me close it. Okay. Oh my goodness, I love my lips. So, do you, don't you love them? They're my. I'm like, oh, this is like you. You were born yeah. in those colors. So. And, Underneath the eyes. That's yeah, what great. do you think? Mm -hmm. Does it look less dark than normal? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do two extra steps just if you wanted to. So I'm going to just have okay. some fun. I'm going to use um, Charlotte Til Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter on you. So what this does is it just adds a nice bit of glow and you can use it under your foundation. You can use it like just with your sunscreen. It's just going to make your skin look really healthy. This is a pricey product, but it's mm -hmm. a huge bottle. We're going to use this, and I'm not going to put it as high as the top of your cheekbone because we don't want to emphasize, you know, lines and that kind of thing, but we're just going to use a little bit of this here on your cheeks, and it's going to just make your cheeks look real dewy. So you're saying this is kind of extra. Yeah, so this is extra, so you know, going out for a special night and you can add that little extra glow. And then we're gonna add just a little bit to um, your eyes. So plums and navy blue, those look really nice on kind of brown eyes and hazel eyes. So I'm gonna use this navy one from blue. Hmm. Yeah, navy blue is a really good alternative to black. This one is the shade Rule of Plum. It's from Ulta and Close Your Eye. And I'm just going to 
smudge a tiny little bit of this right here in the outer corner. Now, would you do this generally before you put mascara yes. on? Yes. So if you were if you were planning to go for your night out and you were getting ready um, and you knew that when you were applying your makeup, then mm -hmm. I would just do this yeah, before your mascara. But if it's kind of like late in the day and your hubby's like, hey, we've got a dinner party or, you know, let's, let's go out, you could apply just a little bit of this. See the shine? Do you yeah. see it? Isn't like that amazing? Shine. Isn't it just so cool? Yeah. And, and but it's not shimmer, so there's no, no. glitter. Right. And that's the thing, right. you know, that a lot of people think with a highlight, but yeah, it adds huh. that little bit of shine. What do you think? You Lovely. Like it? Yeah. Lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. I was 75 oh. and now I'm 39. Now you're 39 and holding. <laughs> Well, you are beautiful even without oh, makeup inside and you. out. So thank I you. just appreciate you coming. So hopefully that was fun for you all. Gave you all some, just some tips of different products to yep. use if you want something quicker. I think the stick foundation, stick blush, I think that concept, if you're a traveler That's or not. for me. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think cool you'll, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah having that option. <laughs> so She's the best. Oh, no, no. Yeah. It's just and fun. And if you haven't just heard Shirley on Sunday Song, can oh, I advertise yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. She's, it's like 52 weeks now almost. Yeah, it? 50. I've done 50 episodes 50. so far as of taping this. Sunday so. morning on her YouTube channel. Just a wonderful way to begin that special day of the week. Yes. Well, she's been I listen a to huge it on fan. my own and then I listen to it on the way to church. Hey, so, there we go. Multiple plays yeah. in one day. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you for coming, You're being welcome. willing to appear on camera and let me You're just welcome. play and have some fun. So well, it's been a joy. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Yeah, good. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.